I have greasy as shit hair today. Yeah. Good to know. Okay. Here we go. Gotta stretch out before you start talking. Fuck knows why, I don't know. Reputations. That's a topic we can discuss, because I've written it down here. It says reputation. .txt. This is how I plan my videos. I still haven't like quite gotten the grasp of having a reputation. It's really, it's strange. Like, how does anyone handle people knowing who they are? How does anyone actually do it? Because I sure as fuck don't know. I have no... <laughs> the first instance of this that I can remember was during high school when I was- Sorry, I need to let the dogs in. When I was in high school, apparently I was ever so slightly more, like, known than I realized. For example, I found out that multiple girls had crushes on me, or were at least interested in getting with this. Okay, you need to- Like, two of my friends? Strangers, prob- maybe. I don't know if they were strangers, because Ash won't fucking tell me who they are. But like, again, I didn't realize all of this, because I am fucking oblivious to all of it. It is ridiculous. I only realized weeks after it had actually happened, that a particular girl in our year level was actively flirting with me. And like, not even subtly. She was like, playing with my necklace thing, being like, oh, what's this? And like, joking around with like, some like, boa thing, hitting me with like, ha ha! And I was like, hey, you joker! But then she, no, that's, no, she was not playing a joke. She, yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't limited to romance. It was like, I had other friends in high school as well. I had like two groups of friends. So they apparently experienced forms of bullying, but like really lame bullying like you get in high school, like they get called nerds and geeks and losers and it's like, okay, but I didn't get that. And I, I noticed this one day, like, wow, he just called you a nerd and he was like, yeah, it happens all the time. I'm like what? Or like something along those lines. Like I found out that they were getting called that. And why, why was I exempt? I don't know this. I don't have cool friends. Like my other friends are fucking crazy. Some girl licked a lamp. People in other year levels knew who I was for some reason. They're like, oh, that's Sean. Or like, and I'm like, who the fuck are you? Like, I think there was some from the above, above year level. There was definitely some people from the lower year level. Although I'm pretty sure that was because of my delinquent younger brother. He's not a delinquent now, but he was at the time. And another time when I was walking home from school on the day of Halloween, and some some girl calls out to me like, hey Sean, I'm like, hey, and she was like, you going to the Halloween party tonight? And I was like, oh, maybe, what Halloween party? Who are you? I didn't say that, I thought it in my head, I don't, I don't think I know, knew who this girl was, she looked vaguely familiar, like I think maybe I had a class with her, which would kind of explain how she knew my name. And I mean, obviously I wasn't popular enough to be invited to this Halloween party that was well known enough that it didn't need a designation. It was just the Halloween party, like whoever made it must have been like the hottest shit in town because he's apparently made the only Halloween party, so it wasn't quite cool enough to get into there. But like, other people thought I was apparently. Other people thought that I could have possibly been invited to this fabled party. That might have just been what it was the whole time. A delusion shared by everyone in my high school except for me and the people who were actually popular. This shit continued into university. I was hanging out at a friend's place with like a bunch of the friends that I would made at uni. It was really nice. We were like a couple people talking. One of my friends was like playing guitar on the couch. It was nice. And like I thought it was like a generally known fact that I am what I call a hyper virgin. At the time, I'd like, at the time, I never had sex with anyone, I'd never actually been kissed by anyone. I just like mentioned it in passing because we were like discussing some, something at the time. And my friend playing the guitar just dramatically fails a chord and goes, WHAT?! Wildly over the top, I laughed my head off. And that was just like one of multiple events where it happened. I had one friend who was like completely gobsmacked when he heard, and pretty much everyone else is just generally surprised. And like, I thought I gave off the notion of not being that kind of person. I'm like, I'm kind of a loser, but not really. Like, I don't have my life together, but I'm not sad about it. So I'm just like, yeah, it's just a thing. And then I, I when I ask what people are shocked by it, they're just like, because it's you. And I'm like, what? What? Stop. Well, that happened like once. And I feel like this whole thing is like a 
metaphor for how I go through life because like I just kind of wing it like I'm 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 doing my best but I'm not really doing anything and people think that I'm doing so much better at it like they, they think I have my this isn't even a metaphor this is just what's happening this is an explanation Pe people are just like yeah you're doing great I'm like am I like when you're button mashing in a street fighter game people are like holy shit you're doing so good I'm like I literally don't know what I'm doing right now of course nowadays the deal of reputation is a lot weirder to handle because of this because of this my YouTube channel. I'm obviously not famous, but my friends know about this thing and they laugh about it. I see you. And some of them have taken to showing some of these videos to their friends, like anyone who hasn't seen them yet. And that makes it terrifying when I meet new people because like people talk about each other to their friends like, oh, you'll meet Daryl. He's great. He's a nice person, does psychology, shit like that. So that when people meet them, they'll be like, oh, Daryl, oh, I've heard about you. Or like, oh, this is Daryl. When that happens to me, when someone goes like, oh, you're Sean, I panic. Because the possibilities of what they've heard are either like about me or about these videos. So sometimes I'll meet people who haven't met me, but they have seen me throw flour and eggs around my kitchen and pretending to be my own clone wearing a mustache. So nowadays, instead of reputation being this weird back background thing that just like happens and you're like, what's going on? You good? Cool. It's now a source of stress because nowadays my reputation does precede me and God knows what people have seen because of it. Because, because, because reputation is scary and I think that's my point tonight. People knowing you is a nice thing but it's also horrifying because you have not had power over that information that they know. So their idea of you is not influenced by you at all. And the sudden responsibility of having to change that. A bit too much for some people. But you know, that's life. That's life. Sometimes people know about you. Sometimes people have seen you slamming hands first into a piano. Regardless of how it works, we just have to hope. And that's the best we're going to get sometimes. Good night, America. That is, that's me, that's what I do, that's what I do, and... You know.